this is an Excel spreadsheet. So I did, it's up on Google Drive. So the key thing is don't just click on it and try to start entering it on Google Drive because then that will get into issues. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the structure of this uh, database. Um, so what you'll notice is firstly, there's, there's some data from last year that I haven't cleaned out. Um, and so I've, I've hidden that for you guys. So if you scroll up, it looked, it go, the rows go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then all of a sudden jumps to like 14, then all of a sudden it jumps to, you know, 600, 1,000. So don't worry about it. One of the things that, that, that that's just, that the data is all there, it's just being hidden right now. Um, one of the things that tends to happen when we swap Excel spreadsheets is sometimes you guys will get uh, something looks like that. And you go, Dr. Anderson, Dr. Anderson, the web, the sheet's all broken and I can't figure it out and I don't know what's wrong. Um, not a problem. It just means that with whatever device would, that you're using, there's a little bit of a, of a tweak with the spacing of your data. So the data is all there. It has not gone away. It has not been overwritten. It's not been erased. Um, all you need to do is go up to wherever that column is and stretch it out, or you can double click on it is the same, is the same thing, but, but generally just click and drag. So whenever you see a bunch of, that's the number one question I get about this, is the hashtags, the pound signs, it does not mean you did something wrong or, or something's incorrect. It's just uh, different versions of the program on different platforms will sometimes scooch stuff in slightly different ways. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, uh, each survey, so this line uh, right here, 10, 29, that's corresponding to one person's survey. So if that's my survey, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna enter and, and type stuff, some stuff in and then scroll to the right, to the next question, scroll to the right, scroll to the right, scroll to the right. Does that make sense? Um, so, we'll, and then I, I've put, uh, there should be five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So everybody should have their uh, slot for them in here. If for some bizarre reason, I only gave you four or something like that, that's fine. Just go ahead and, and insert an extra row. But it should be mostly spaced out for everyone. So you're gonna scroll down if this is, if I'm Jasmine, I'm gonna come up here and I go, ah, oh, here's me. And I'm gonna start filling it out. This, these first few numbers, don't worry about that. that. That'll start making more sense when we're trying to uh, quality assurance check stuff and things later. That, that's just sort of a tracking thing. But so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, type in my poll version. So you guys, what'd you guys do this weekend? You did, uh, you did 9.3A, I guess. So I would just type in, you know, 9.3A and then just scroll over. So whatever date I did it, I type the date in. Whatever year, and this is again, this is year is kind of funky. This is from this, the way the, and yeah, never mind. Just put the year in twice for silly reasons. Uh, and then over here is where I did it, right? You don't have to give me your full address, but just say, you know, whatever, the Albertsons or whatever, the park and TO or something. And then um, the county. And then we get to the, the good stuff. So if everybody pulls out your, your surveys, if you guys pull out your first sheet, for example, you'll see the first question was, you know, question. And then it was some options, right? Now, uh, you should be encouraging people to do it, you know, just do it as fast as you can. Don't, don't, don't spend a lot of time. I know we're just interested in your initial thoughts. Uh, again, some people will like want to spend a lot of time and think about it, but that's, we don't, we don't need them to do that. So sometimes people will either because they're rushing or because they're confused, they might leave a question blank, okay? If they left every question blank, then that sucks. We can't use that survey. But, but you know, if not everybody answers every single question, and that's just how surveys go. So the very first question on every single, every single option is, was it answered or not? To ease the, the tabulation and stuff, what we do here is instead of putting yes or no, we enter a one for yes, or meaning that, that that option was checked, and a zero, meaning that was not uh, checked or that was left blank. Cool? So in this case, uh, my, my person answered it. So the very first thing I would do if I was Jasmine over here, I was like right here, very first thing I do is say it was answered. So I put a one in there, meaning that yes, it was answered. And then I would go and I'd fill the rest of it in. So these, these all correspond to your, to your um, 
you know, the first option, second option, third option, et cetera. Every once in a while, we have a bunch of those options. You might want to double check and make sure they line up properly. But, but generally speaking, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. So in this case, if, this, if the person I was surveying said yes, I would go one, and then they didn't say no, and they didn't say unsure. Are you with me? And, and we just go down the line like that. Fill out, fill out, fill out. If, however, uh, so let's say I do that. But then let's say this next question, uh, wetland, so, so okay, so here's a great example. So this one, let's say wetland change. Uh, they answered it, but they were unsure. Okay, let's say we did that. So yes, they said unsure. But then this question was, if you thought it went up or down, how much did it go up or down? But maybe they were unsure, so they didn't say up or down. So maybe they left that question blank, right? So what I would do there is, on the answered, I'd put a zero and only a zero there. And then I'd skip to the next question. So in other words, I wouldn't put zeros in where they didn't answer. And that's important because... Anybody know why? Because it's right. Because a zero means they didn't pick that option; they picked something else. But if they didn't pick anything, that's not. We calculate the averages differently from the total from that. Does that make sense? So, so anyway, and then you guys will see it as, as you scroll through, and, and you'll see the options. But that's. That's basically it. So you're just going to scroll across and, and type it in and, and go across. Occasionally, we do have something that is not a, a, a tick box thing, right? So the first option, let's see, is your question number eight. So this one says, uh, you know, rank. They're supposed to rank one, two, three, or four. And sometimes, this is, it's, you know, this is, much, this is a much better question to do on an online forum where we can, the computer can force them to, you know, the, the, to pick the right options. Sometimes what you guys see is people put all ones, like four ones or four fours or something like that, right? In which case, that's kind of hard to use. We can't really use that. For now, for what you guys are doing in this first phase, you're just going to type in whatever the heck they put in. So if they put in four, 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 just go ahead and put in four, 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 four. If that happens though, if you're typing in something that you know is a clear error, when you're typing it in, so if the, I do something like, yeah, they answered it, but they did four, 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 I'd just come up, select those cells, and just flag them, flag them yellow. Just so when we're going through the QAQC, we know we'll probably, probably pull that data out, delete that data before we do the full analysis. The other option you guys, the other things you guys might have is when you asked how much seafood did you eat, right, or, or, or money you spent. So in that case, you're going to type in the actual, you know, a number, not a, not a, not a one or a zero. Similarly, for if, if we asked, uh, I'm out of your way. if we asked, um, you know, hey, your occupation or whatever it was, right, those, those will you just, you'll just type those in. But so that's it. So type those guys in. Save it with your last name and upload it back to the, um, to the Google Drive. Does that make sense? Cool. And just so you guys understand what this looks like, this, this looks super messy up here because I'm in the process of still organizing it, but uh, this is going to line up with all the other stuff that previous students have done through the years. So when you guys go to make your poster for the Island Symposium, this will line up super slick. So if you were bumping around on this and you came down below your names, below your names, you're gonna see this stuff. Now, I, I, haven't, I haven't checked this. So some of these, these formulas need to be checked. I, I don't know if they're correct right now. They're just some legacy stuff, but you can see the idea. What's gonna happen, since we don't, have a, we don't have weeks and weeks and weeks to think about this, what you guys are gonna do is uh, w once we start getting near the end of this and we have a, you know, a bunch of samples and we can start looking at stuff, um, you can just scroll to the bottom of our communal data sheet and it's going to tell us what's going on. So in this case, again, this is, this is edited data, so a lot of the data has been deleted, but, but of the data set abo above, it says that 322 people said they knew of a wetland and then 171 people said that, you know, yes, no, etc. And then this is the proportion. 
So the people that, that did respond to this question, 53% of the people said they knew, uh, again, of this arbitrary weird data set, it's probably not real, but, but still, uh, it says 53% of the people uh, knew of a wetland, 31% didn't know of any wetlands within 50 miles of their home, and about 16% were unsure. Is that cool? So we're using this format, really quickly you guys can see how stuff is, uh, the patterns that are emerging and stuff. And then what we'll eventually have is if we, oh yeah, well no, not on this sheet, but we'll eventually have is we have a thing that has, you know, 2011, 2010, 2013, et cetera. So you guys can actually see how, if it changed from previous years or if people's uh, attitudes towards that particular aspect of coastal management have not changed. Cool, everybody's super stoked and excited on that. Awesome possum. All right, cool.